Hello everybody, this is Sandra Chirenje from Zingoma. We are giving you our program Pajaka Tangira. Gavi rese raka vakuma shuiro. Saka iwe ne ni tine nao zati na zozi no taura no kupuri kiza kwa takava. Nasi uri pauri papu. Asi une kwa waka tangira. Ndo kwa tulo tito kere kumashure. Tichinzi kwa kuti. Bababa tinavo. Vambori ani. Vano itanejei. Uye waka vepi. Ah, Mushamu Kuranz, just as Nate comes in Babos, no Tangera, which it tung visa. Sakatruko, not Panin Yaka Kurapano, Tinababa, Antony Cassani, Vacava, which it tung visa, Count of Vanova, which it tung visa. Ah, Mungatu, Zoku, Pamanga, Murimudik, Muchikura, Mangamine Mufungo, Pigan, or Timaita, is Rakus of any Basa Ripi Makura. In the Pandai Kura and the Fungoji, which has of Mutambi and Punuki. Oh, okay. 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 Saka hivi mi maitari sila kuzova e musician ni ere kana kuti jama kuita juu. What are you doing now? I expected to be a, a soccer player. That's what I expected That's when it. I go. Okay. And I was so talented in soccer. I could play soccer. I can still play soccer excellently. But oh. when I got injured, mm. uh, kusoka yako, mm. then I got born again. Wow. And mm -hmm. So at church, uh, it was when I got born again, then when I discovered, when I get to discover that I'm also talented, gifted in music. Oh, so this takes us to another level that everything happens to you in your life for a purpose. And God's purpose always has a way of coming to us and finding us. Yes. So your injury brought you to music. Yes. And this is where we are now. Yes. Okay, so you're saying your background, your music, your music, your church. Connecting this and that, then uh, I got introduced to the prison worship. Then get to learn to play the guitar at church. Mm. And when I uh, when I developed as a musician at church, then in 1997 I started recording music with the Fishers of Men. Wow, 1997. 1997. That's when I I started recording professionally in a studio where they demanded a high level of professionalism in terms of playing, performing in the wow. studio at grammar records. I love that. I love that. So that takes us to another question. You said that studio, they wouldn't, they were very tough. Yes. Like, they wouldn't just take any musician from anyway. They didn't, they didn't even condone any mediocre, any level of mediocre. They would, they would send you Jesus, back those concepts and with medio? Mediocre. What is that in music? Is that a musical no, term? a state of lukewarmness. Wow. Mediocre is just a state of loop. You are not, you are not yet there. Ah, and, uh, but you are, you are perceiving. You are yeah, trying yes, to you be. You are trying to be there. Okay. So they would uh, see. Sometimes they would uh, require demos or auditions, and if, if they find out that you are not quite yet there, then they send you back home to practice more. Okay. So that um, did you take it with you, or you have changed because of time? I did not change from that. Uh, uh, attitude of you know uh, not allowing mediocrity to, mm -hmm. to creep in in my life. Ah. I believe in excellence. I believe I believe as a musician that you should practice and so. develop that excellence and dexterity in whatever you do. 
Okay, I know someone out there is listening and this person has passion in music. Maybe he or she thinks that she sings well, but she, her vocals are not quite good. And then they come to Kasani Production. What's the name of the studio, by the way? G Art Media. G Art Media. And then they come to G Art Media. And then maybe the key level and the, I don't know your concept as uh, producers, and then they don't know how to sing. Are you free or open to tell them that what you are doing, you are just on uh, not on a correct point? Usually, I'm candid, and sometimes I'm brutally honest. But I tell you the truth, <laughs> but uh, with the love in it. Okay. But usually, I don't. I I, I don't have to hide uh, your level of performance. I have to tell you the truth. Where you need to fix, I tell you where to fix. Who you need to approach, like if you're a vocalist, like you just rightly pointed out, mm -hmm. I tell you to approach vocal trainers so that you develop in the vocal uh, thing. Oh. Or you, I maybe I encourage you to even to go to school. Like right now, I'm going to school. I'm I'm, I'm learning to read and write music. By the wow. end of this year, I'll be writing, reading and writing music. So that's the kind of uh, thing that I advise people to oh. read more, study okay. more. Get okay. depth in, in, in whatever you're doing. Whatever you're doing. So you have to invest in whatever invest. you are doing. Do, don't just relax and rest there. That's it, investment. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I hope we are all learning on how uh, Mr. Kasani is doing his works. When you want to come for music production, make sure you are ready to be given hard love. As he said, he gives hard love. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. Um, What's the difference between engineering and music production? Okay, engineering and music production are two different things, and I I, I want uh, I want to thank God that you've just pointed that. Okay. There's a difference. A lot of people they don't know the difference between engineering. Engineering is just a, another side uh, of production, mm. where whereby before you produce, the engineers they connect the studio, oh. connections of the studio, capturing of the music. Usually it's done by the engineers. They know what gear to put. It's called a tech rider. What gear to put for this particular band? Because every band requires a, a, a tech rider that's different from the other. What, by tech rider, I mean the type of instruments that you need to to, to, to record the part the, that particular genre that you want to do. It mm. requires particular. For example, you want to uh, a, a band comes in. Mm -hmm. They want to record their music. Mm -hmm. The music requires a saxophone. Mm -hmm. It requires maybe guitars or acoustic guitars. Mm -hmm. The engineers they will determine what uh, instruments are we going to use for for recording this instrument. Do we need to use microphones to mic the acoustic guitars, or do we have to use uh, TS cables to connect mm. this? Do we need DI boxes direct? I know it's jargon here, so but mm -hmm. I think you need to to understand for the sake of the viewers and listeners. Wow. Um, so the engineers they they are more technical okay okay oh they're they are the technical inclined. part all right so the producer now the difference uh, the producer said now, mm -hmm. production is the producer comes in like uh, how can i put it in layman's terms like the headmaster mm -hmm. he, he tells you no this music is going well but no you need to fix that they just sit at there they're not uh, connecting anything but they are they may be well faced with all the technicalities okay. of the student okay. but okay. they are not worried about that what the students already been connected so they, they the producers they are uh, working, they are listening. They are listening at the technicalities of the recordings. Are the engineers capturing well? Are the levels okay? Considering that maybe the engineer is uh, overlooking some aspects of, uh, of, of 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 recording and capture. All right. Okay. So can one be an engineer, a producer, and uh, can that person also do mastering? Yes, one can do. Three, of three processes. Ah. Like myself, I'm an engineer, qualified. Now I'm qualified, certified wow. by Germany and Global Academy Germany. So you're international, I right? Yeah. Oh, certified amazing. Engineer. amazing. I'm now also into production, certified in that uh, regard. Mm -hmm. So one can be a sound engineer, qualified in that, and also qualified as a music producer, whereby he's able to direct the recordings. Wow. The producer is the director of the recordings. Mr. Kassani is packed. Well, we are almost there and we are now finishing. Wow. But, Already. oh, you see, it's, it's a beautiful yeah. thing. Oh, yeah, you know, when you fine. discuss uh, things, um, you get to know more and more things start opening up. Yeah. But anyway, I wanted to ask this question. Okay, sure. uh -huh. If you were to be called the Minister of Arts today, 
what were you going to introduce in the industry or maybe change or maybe tell the musicians out there to make music industry a better industry? Ah, that's a, a tough one, but I'll try. <laughs> As a minister, if I were the minister of sports and culture, mm -hmm. I would uh, put in place systems, things mm -hmm. that will make the, the life of musicians easy. Number one, I would put infrastructure in place so that the musicians will benefit from the infrastructure. For example, build even studios whereby people can come and record music. Wow. I would put even um, systems in place whereby musicians would be recognized internationally. I will put systems in place so that musicians, they benefit from their work. There's no plagiarism. There are systems whereby they benefit 100%. Anyone who writes his song or any composition, they I make sure they benefit. I put systems in place. You know, copyright this, copyright that. You know, all the rights things. So systems, infrastructure, make the environment not toxic for the musician. Not toxic for the musician. Amazing, amazing. He's That's full me. of wisdom. Wow. wow. Oh, thank you so much. So, Mr. Kasani, um, we have had you an art, you're a producer or an engineer or what, what else? A mastering engineer. I'm, a, I'm mastering, an engineer, uh -huh. I'm a producer, I'm uh -huh. also a mastering engineer. Uh -huh. I got trained in all that. In all so I can those. function well in all those ways. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Do you have any proof to show us that you have done all this? Do you have any artists that you have recorded so far? Yeah, I recorded a lot of artists, including Mr. Fauton Beme, he's an Afro jazz artist. Okay. I recorded him. Mr. Michael Mahindere, getting personal with God One, I am the one who recorded it. Mm. Um, Doloane, South Africa, I'm the one who recorded yeah, it. Latest, latest album. Mm. Um, I've worked with a lot of musicians, Mr. Leonard Shakata, I recorded a lot of some private uh, stuff, uh, you know, advertising okay. stuff. Okay. I did a lot of uh, Production. productions. Wow. And uh, with a lot of upcoming artists, every day I'm recording. All right. Okay. We know that uh, when someone is in a field, they have their strength, right? Yes. Okay. What's your strength as a producer? Which you can say that if you come with this genre, I am, you know, I'm good at this one. Okay. I think my strength lies in mostly in uh, live music, okay. whereby music is played live, not digitally uh, digital. Okay. Like okay. whereby you are just writing the music with the, with your mouse. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, more of a inclined, live uh, yeah, inclined okay. to the wife because I'm a guitarist. Ah. I play the guitar excellently. Okay. So I understand even how to play the keyboard, the bass, all the instruments basically. So uh, even singing, directing the vocals, I know how to direct vocals. Oh. So that's an advantage, for, a big plus for the musician. Wow, okay. Because I know if they play music, if they're playing well, mm -hmm. I will know because I, I, I'm a, a, a guitarist. A guitarist. Okay. If they sing, is a series mm -hmm. I, I can easily pick the out of series why because i'm also a musician who records this oh because i've got music that is already playing at radio some of my stuff has already been taken by some film uh, companies wow it's already as, as, as soundtracks wow so amazing it's a big plus for the musician so what experience. you're saying all in all as we are uh we are collecting every information that you have given us it is wise for a producer or anyone who is doing music produ uh, production to learn to add more information so that they know what these and that the do's and the don'ts okay of music and also they must have an ear to listen and hear good music and they also must know the vocals and playing of instruments wow that's amazing so before we close can you just play one one uh, uh, track for us or maybe i think you know what i'm thinking mm -hmm. what i'm thinking, thinking let's let's give the, the viewers a foretest of the next program because i'm thinking we'll, we'll need another program yes. a program whereby we take this interview to another level to the practical side what do you think? oh so today i won't be playing because of time i okay. need to rush for for a, a for your lecture, lessons lecture, okay yeah. okay I, the lecture is only learning lecture to music. all right thank you very much viewers ladies and gentlemen you have just heard from mr kassan that this was only but a teaser so watch out for the next program with you on pajaka tangira 
uh, where we, whereby we talk about how you all started this, you find us on our website, which is www.zungoma.co.zw, and our phone number is uh, plus two six three seven one seven six nine seven nine seven seven. I will come again on that one two six three seven one seven six nine seven nine seven seven. Thank you very much. Watch out for the next program. Sandra Chirenge signing out. Thank you.